There's no other candidate for high office, office like the U.S. Senate, where laws that incar result in incarcerations of this sort are made. Why is this question never raised? Uh-huh. There's an awful lot of people in jail. And many of those people in, are in jail are, well, first of all, it costs a lot to have them there. It certainly does. It irritates me to have people remark how much it costs, how much they're paying to keep other people imprisoned. I've heard because I heard. think that what we're doing to these other people is much worse than what we're having done to us when our money is stolen for this purpose. I think that we have about uh, half the people in jail are nonviolent uh, drug offenders at this point. 170,000 federal prisoners mm -hmm. are nonviolent drug law offenders. Wow. These make up, make believe laws whose purpose seems to have been to allow government to arrest people and incarcerate them <laughs> and to seal their property. And the money, the money taken through so-called civil for forfeiture, if you can accept that oxymoron, uh -huh. civil forfeiture, that is to say theft <laughs> at implied gunpoint by the police of property from ordinary citizens. Yes. They take that money and brazenly buy vehicles with it and print across the face of the vehicles paid for by drugs. <laughs> Nobody questions this. The police are doing this? They're putting yes. this on there? Yes. Wow. The Sheriff's Department and they in, drive in Ulster County. Right. Wow. That's insane. I've always thought the drug wars were, were completely insane. I mean, I'm the, I'm the minor. We're the minority point of view on this idea, but just because we are the minority point of view, just because our party is small doesn't mean we're wrong. And that's what's important when I tell people, listen to what we have to say. Well, again, we're the minority point of view because we're operating against this frequently repeated, constantly repeated big lie. Our taxes, in part, pay for our miseducation on the media by the government. Uh -huh. And so people are going to believe what Big Brother tells them if he tells them loudly enough, fiercely enough, and often enough. And that's what's happened. So you need somebody to counter some of this and counter it in a fundamental way. And when I say a fundamental way, I don't mean just medical marijuana. Mm -hmm. uh, that it, I mean, it's obvious that people should be able to use the medication that they need. Right. This is, should not be something that one needs permission from the government for. <laughs> it should but, not be. This is true. Especially if you can grow your own medicine in your house. That's very nice. You don't need a doctor. You don't need a prescription. You don't need to go down to yeah. the all the prob all of the, the doctor. The people are complaining about the cost of their medicine. You yeah. know, all you gotta do is grow it in a pot. It grows by itself. Just put some water on it. It can't cost that much. Let's let's consider the the effects of the drug laws. Aside from the fact that they violate the the, the document, which is supposed to limit what laws can be made. Let's consider prohibition. What happened as a consequence of prohibition, just from a practical point of view? Well, beer and wine soon got replaced by hard liquor. Mm -hmm. More punch to the ounce. Yes. If something is illegal, you want to be able to transport the material that has a lot the of greatest, the greatest right. sale value. Mm -hmm. Yes. Shoot ups in the cities because people could not discuss with one another, could not take take out contracts, mm -hmm. discuss this in court, and have decisions made in a, in a civilized way about who's going to sell where. So people were machine gunning one another down for... A few dollars, a few well, dollars more. Not hardly a few dollars. This is a, a, <laughs> a lot of money. A huge amount of money. And uh, that's indeed what happens with prohibition. Prices are artificially inflated to an enormous degree and when the, the danger... And gets stronger. And the stuff gets stronger. And there's people dying for bathtub gin. And when, and when the prices are inflated, people are shooting one another over the opportunity to sell. Uh-huh. And then people what? would die, of course, from bad Sure, stuff there's no, con made, no control like at all. Now. No control at all over the you quality of the material. Right. You can't go and sue because uh, the this, this stuff killed you that, right. you, that mm -hmm. you took or you drank. And that's, you know, because that, no one's responsible. And that's the problem. Well, people, right make, people make people uh, make use methyl alcohol uh -huh. and sell this, and the the effect is blindness or death. Now, so what would you say to somebody else 
an, another mathematics professor somewhere, anybody, who, who was thinking about getting involved in the Libertarian Party because they didn't feel like they fit in in the other parties. What would you say? How would you encourage them? I'm hoping that a number of people will recognize that they are, in fact, libertarians. Uh -huh. I'm not out to sell ideas. I'm out to awaken people to the ideas that they already have. Uh -huh. Maybe have and are afraid to announce to other people because they think and are told that nobody believes this, that this is unpopular. It mm -hmm. may turn out that suddenly, hey, we all agree on this matter. How come nobody <laughs> said it this way? We, yeah, we have a hard, a hard lesson to learn about way too much government and thinking the government's gonna solve all of our problems. Uh, government makes problems so that it has something to do, <laughs> some reason to fund itself. But let's consider the consequences of the drug laws, in addition to poisonings by uncontrolled quality. Uh -huh. and shoot-ups in the streets so that people are killed in accidental shootings. Yes. Uh -huh. 1934, right after Prohibition is repealed, comes the first national, first federal gun control act. Uh -huh. Why was this gun control act enacted? Why? Well, the putative reason was to control the, uh, the tools of bootleggers and racketeers and right, gangsters, right. right? So people were deprived of a certain class of firearms because criminals were using, were using those right. firearms. And thank you very much. That's a very good point. Thank you very much for coming out. It's wonderful speaking with you. Uh, if anyone else out there would like any more information, about the Libertarian Party, you can join us online at www.lp.org or you can call 1-800-ELECT-US and we'll send you out a free packet of information. And the next time you're at the post office waiting in line for three hours to buy one stamp, register to vote as a Libertarian. So thank you very much and we'll see you next time on the Libertarian Alternative. Give up. Your fears begin to melt Tell your lovers